What it do my fools, it is your homeboy Q2 in the house and welcome to what I believe I am going to dub as Fire Emblem Three Houses Golden Deer Part Zero? Question mark? Mostly because, well this is most likely going to just be an update video but just in case let me go ahead and get done what I wanted to say um, prior to today I guess which was um I guess the reason why it's going with Golden Deer next is honestly I wanted to go with um uh Black Eagles next but do the um the normal route except um on manning mode but honestly I still don't know how I'm going to get past the whole less experience points unless if I so try to like solo run with Byleth and uh, well, I guess I can't use Edelgard because I'm going to lose her midway. So, I guess Byleth and, like, Dorothea? Because Dorothea is a healer? Um, but one of the main reasons why I started the gold, uh, Golden Deer, well, number one, I decided to go with a different house because um, I felt like I needed to try to figure out more about what I should do about maddening mode because I still want to try to beat maddening mode. And uh, okay, I guess you guys know that today is June 10th, 2021. You guys can see right over here the date. That's how long it's been, pretty much, for you guys yesterday. But anyway, um, so Golden Deer, well, it's just because it was a different house from. Black Eagles, but also because I heard that Golden Deer explain. Well, this is just what I've heard that Golden Deer explains more of the story, fills in some gaps that we weren't aware of. But I feel like I, I feel like I got the gist of it from Black Eagles, because it seems like there used to be a, a Dragon Society, but Nemesis, aka King of Liberation, must have came in and killed them all. Now we don't know the the reason behind it. I mean. I mean, I don't know the reason behind it. Maybe the dragons are up to something. I mean, I don't know. Normally, drag. Well, I would say drag. Dragons are usually a threat, but they're for from remember from past Fire Emblem games, they don't really try to attack humanity or anything. In fact, um, Eliwood and Ninian almost hit it off. If quote unquote Eliwood didn't, you know what to Ninian <laughs> if you play the game. But anyway, um. So Golden Deer, uh, if I play it, I suspect that it will be more story. And what I heard about um, the Blue Lions was that it was just more of a more uh, just a Dimitri oriented story, which I guess in a way isn't bad. But I felt, but from what I heard is that it's just pretty much talks about Dimitri's relationship with Edelgard, and it was interesting because Edelgard doesn't seem to have much to say about Dimitri at all when you can play through Black Eagles. But I guess this is mostly because she's got her own problems to deal with. She has her own goals in mind. But, okay. The other thing that's why I'm playing Black Eagles, I mean not Black Eagles, uh, Golden Deer, is because of him. I'm actually forgot his name because I don't like him. Claude. I hate Claude. He's the type of character that I would hate. I don't like... Number one, I don't like to be messed with, period. Number two, I just hate characters who would go around messing with people, especially when they have uh, personal problems, such as Edelgard, who was literally used as a lab experiment. She's practically Shadow the Hedgehog or Mewtwo, but even Sephiroth. But, um... She uh, had a serious trauma after that where she was scared of rats because it reminds her of, well, I guess not reminds her, but um, it brings her back to the days where she was experimented on and all of her relatives suffered because of the experimentations that were going on with her family. And Claude, I mean, I don't know if Claude is aware of any of that, but he's a dick for bringing it up mid-battle just to try to gain some kind of advantage over Edelgard. And I mean, I feel like 
that's not the type of character that you'd want to support at all. Now, we'll say that Claude does have some interesting aspect to him because if what I was, if I, okay, so what if I heard right about Nadir that Nadir was related to, to Claude when I was doing the Black Eagles run? And Claude is the leader of the Alliance, but Nadir is supposed to be this general from a bordering nation. And um, if that's true, then that means that Claude at least was have some kind of relationship, connection with this bordering country. So, and, and, and this bordering country is supposed to be like one that nobody has any real ties with. So, and here we have Claude, who's a relative, a relative of Nadir, the I guess the pretty much the Wyvern country. Um, it kind of makes um, Claude seem like he may yet be a spy or a double agent or something, which I will admit would be interesting of his character, but. Eh, Eh, I wouldn't really put it. I wouldn't give his character that much credit. I will say that his bedroom did look suspicious when I. You, you guys could go back and see my gameplay when I walked into his bedroom. And there was just this crap lying all over the floor. Unlike any other bedroom. But it does make it seem like that he was researching something, looking into something. It, his character reminds me more of. That one character from Beastars, the guy that came in trying to investigate what happened to Tim. Can't remember his name. I should probably put a picture of his face next to Claudia. Like he really reminds me of that character. And the funny thing was that he is a despicable character, but he's a character that they written into the story for the purpose of you not liking him, or at least for the characters to not like him. Um, Claude, I feel like was written with a different intent in mind which personally I feel like doesn't work for him because they try to make him uh, no they try to make him a a strategist like an actual genius but I do not see any evidence of that and I'm saying that purely out of experience of fighting Claude specifically in the Black Eagles Crimson Flower run when apparently his strategy was to do like a pincer attack while we're going through the city he has his um, wyvern country come in and attack us and pretty much flank us from the side but the thing is, in doing so, he created another path for us to get to, which is actually much safer and more beneficial because we wind up getting the shield that negates the weakness for flying-type units. So it's like, Claude, you, that, that was not smart. That was real dumb. Now, if he had planned to do this in order to aid us, then... That way, I, I can kind of understand. But, uh, it, it... He does not seem to be the type of person to care about anything but himself. From what I've seen so far. Now, granted, I will say this. The, re the reason why we even have a story in the first place is because of Claude. Because with Claude... When... In the beginning of the story, when the students got attacked, Claude ran away to try to preserve his own well-being instead of fighting for his friends. Edelgard and Dimitri took after him. And Claude ran towards, you know, the main character and uh, By Byleth and uh, Geralt as if he knew where they were living prior to this uh, attack. Now, we know that he wasn't the one behind the attack. This was Edelgard because of the story and, you know, all that. But, um, it is interesting that he ran pretty much a beeline towards where Byleth was. So, 
Did he know about Byleth and Geralt ahead of time? I don't know. If he did, it would make his character a lot more interesting. But honestly, right now, I just see him as a failure of a character and a leader. Especially for the fact that going throughout the whole uh, Crimson Flower thing, Claude's whole strategy was just to run away. And we see this during the story. Whereas Claude is just run away, run away, snipe people from a far distance, from a far safe distance, run away, run away. I mean, it's it's like when you're facing not not a zoner. There's a difference between zoning in a fighting game and somebody who's just spamming, spamming projectiles. It's more of a he's more of a spammer type of character. He doesn't want to get involved in a fight at all. A zoner will get in, will get involved in a fight. But someone who spams will not. They will try to avoid the fight at all costs. This is the type of character that Claude is. And this is why I just don't like him. I will say, shots out to the voice actor. Did a damn good job. <laughs> um, Joe, I have no idea what that last, how to pronounce that last name. Joe you did a good job in the voice. Because I definitely see the voice, or hear the voice in that face but I, I can't stand characters who are just in it for themselves I mean, I mean if I'm wrong then hey but I'd have to play the game and figure that out but from what I've seen right now there's not much evidence of him being anything other than a selfish bastard so um, okay right no spoilers I don't want to go too deep in all that but the main reason why I was on this website to begin with is because of one very important fact about three houses in general, and that is because class-wise, we have very different, very different um, level ups than what we do in previous Fire Emblem games. In previous Fire Emblem games, your character was set to a certain type of class. They couldn't change that class, or at least not to a different, completely different class, or any class. But in this game, you can pretty much make anyone almost any other class. So... You would think that would mean that anyone can learn any move. However... That doesn't mean that. Well, like any move, but almost any other move, but that doesn't mean that. And the evidence is from my last, uh, my Black Eagles gameplay, where I had Flame with the move Rescue, and you guys saw how useful that was. Because Rescue allows me to take somebody who's a far distance away, who might be in trouble, brings them all the way down to where the user is, and, uh, yeah, just teleports somebody from far away to where the user is. This is pretty much a... Uh, well, like I said, it's a rescue. <laughs> but, um... The problem is that, for what I saw, Flame was the only one who could learn it. And I had... I mean, she was a bishop class. I had two other bishops, meaning Manuela and Linhart. But neither one of them can learn rescue. And I went to check up on that. See, this is a bishop class. This isn't I need what I need to do is to go directly into each character. This is just the basic bishop class from uh, the Fire Emblem series in general. What I need to do is to go to characters in three houses and three houses characters okay so let me go to flame Um, I'm sorry if you guys don't like how I do this, but I usually right-click 
I usually right click on a character, I mean, sorry, a link and open a new window. Why are you, I know these people have individual pages, come on. Or do I have to click on Church of Seros just to get to flame? Here we go. Now this should tell me, I'm not reading her story because I feel like I just still don't have her full story, but she must be a dragon or descendant of a dragon. Um, let's see, these are abilities that she gains with the bishop class. There should be a, a section, not surprised with heal, restore, priests. Okay, here we go. Learned magic skill level. You boosted up her faith. She will eventually learn rescue when she hits B. Now, if I go to the characters that I had, which was Linhart. That's interesting. Linhart. The, the, the list of characters wasn't on the side like it was with the Church of Seros. Now you see, um, this is the same class, same faith, but I won't get rescue. I feel like this knowledge was very important because knowing this beforehand should shape how you strategize going in. Uh, Church of Seros, uh, yeah, just want to make sure Manuel is in there. I the members on this side, but not in the Black Eagles. Unless if I didn't click on something to pull it up on the side. But anyway, Manuela. Go down to her. She gets healed, war, and silence and war, but she doesn't get rescue. Um, Flame, out of the team, out of the three that I had on my gameplay, was the only one who could get a rescue. And since I lose Flame halfway, I lost my rescue, which could have been useful later on. Now, the interesting thing is that when I went around and started trying to learn and try, try to get more moves from characters, I was. It says member C below. Oh, I had to click on. Okay, gotcha. Okay, that's one way to do it, I guess. Um, Bernadette. Went to Bernadette. Went to her moves. She gets rescue if her faith goes up to A level. I mean, it may take a while, but maybe it'd be worth it if I made a Bernadette a bishop. Don't know. But the fact that these moves are... Well, the fact that you uh, don't know the moves in the... Well, what, what they could possibly learn in the game um, means that, they, that you're kind of left out in possible strategies that you could be doing for later. So... In retrospect, let's say it, in, in respect to this, I feel like that what I should do with Golden Deer is look into each person's um, move list see what they can learn and devise my strategy before I even start playing now for Claude because he is a coward 
a known well coward well known coward who only who only knows how to run away I feel like what I should actually do with him the, originally I was actually planning on killing him off every single every single map that I have him on but I like well let's be more practical why don't I actually teach him how to stand up for other people how to actually be a support for other people by which I mean have him be my my brawler which I wasn't using before my brawler or axe user my heavy knight that kind of a thing make it so that he actually sacrifices his lives for other people which is what he should be doing in the first place so let's see I mean, this is what I feel like doing anyway, and it doesn't seem like he really has any advantage towards it. Let me see. Yeah, these things stay the same. Longbow, evasion, ruin master. I think there are some. Oh, I don't know if that's this story. It looks like that story. I don't want to read any of that. Um, um it's just telling me what changes. That, let's see. Come on. Hmm. I'm looking to see if there's a way to tell me what he'll learn if he becomes a brawler. Or something like a heavy knight. No, I think a different website might have told me. Yeah, I think it was because there's two different websites. I don't think this is the right website that told me that information. So hang on a second. I mean, I'm going to have to edit this anyway. So but hang on a second. Try to find that website. You know, until just now, I thought about, you know, maybe I should add in the intro that I've been working on so you guys can see the intro that I've been trying to do, well, only for the past week because I was short on time, but anyway, yeah, this is the other website. I think this will have more information on what Claude is capable of. Um, except I have enemy, and this, I guess these will be spoilers in a way, but let me try to script down the spell list ability. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this is the website. Uh, fireemblemwiki.org. So, we have, um, Rastride, Grounder, Brain of Monster, so he, he could be a fairly good swordsman if he wants Diamond Axe. I don't know what this does. Diamond Axe, the combat art uh, debuted in Three Houses. Learned by certain units using their skill of an axe is exceptionally powerful attack rather than the user. Massive, massively increased might, however, it significantly reduces the user's hit rate. It costs a high amount of durability. Okay. So it's just really a power. It's just a really powerful axe attack then. Um, uh, curve shot. Monster blast is yeah, anti monster. Fist fair. Okay, so it is a case he needs a brawler. 
model leader, which he clearly isn't. Alert stance. Oh, you're right, right. He was having alert stance for there. Okay. I don't think he learns that much. I'm trying to look by the icon. It's like all he really gets is fist fair. Yeah. I mean, so making him a power unit or a defensive unit would not be the most advantageous strategy, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because he needs to learn to actually give a damn about other people. So, you know, risk his life and all that stuff. He'll get healing focus at least. If I make him a brawler. So, uh, let's check on buy less. Because buy less. I know that was the main reason why I decided to, you know really started looking into this because when I looked into Violet's ability stat I, I saw this down here draining folk wait no draining blow I mean I guess I could read it here but I like pulling up the web page I mean it's pretty much drain punch from Pokemon it, it's pretty much drain punch And I'm like, bruh, Byleth can drain punch? This makes me want to make Byleth female. Let's see a girl just drain punch the shit out of somebody. This is Mystic Blow, which is... I don't think I've seen this. Uh, it's learned by using skill and brawling to gun into a magical weapon, allowing them to deal damage based on a target's resistance stat instead. So basically, you could punch the shit out of uh, an actual defensive unit with low resistance. Byleth would actually be much better as a brawler. That's fine with me, because I can make Claw the, the heavy armor unit. Then make Byleth a brawler. That's fine with me. Anyway, you guys don't know. I guess I I like um, brawler brawler type girls. Makoto, Hitomi from Dead or Alive, Tifa. I mean, I feel like those are some of my favorite types of female characters. Alright, Lawrence, you fake ass mage. I know he's that I know he actually does learn magic, but I mean that from my perspective, I'd be like, boy, you are not what the what kind of mate boy? Let me see what you let me no, let me see what you actually learn. Fire Secretary Ragnarok. Yonasferatu, so nothing too extravagant. I mean, these are all basic uh, magic attack. Well, not basic, but you're, you're, magic attacks that you would expect. Oh, this is black magic, though. I'm sorry if my voice is... I'm actually using my podcaster that I've had for over... How long have I had this thing? 20 years, almost. Almost 20 years. No, I say, and I'll say it's just over 10. Still works out of all my microphones. Um, supposed to pick it as an enormous ray of light. It's supposed to be black magic. That crashes down on the target. Um, gains ultimate black magic spell usable by select few units. Okay, so maybe this isn't so common. But it doesn't do much. Well, let me see. Might 16. Got a lot of weight on it, so it really slows slows somebody down. It only has two uses. Wait. 
Those are the only people that can that, that can learn it? Lawrence and Dorothea and Constance, I believe, is from the other house. The fourth house. Those are the only three people that can use it. Huh. Other than that, pretty standard. Um, Paladin. Well, let's see your abilities. Distinguished House. Personal ability, innate and unremovable. Mm, excuse me. Boost the user's damage output. When in formation with a battalion. Okay, so if he has a battalion, he does more damage. Render Axe Fair, Frozen Lance. Uh, I, I am pissed that you get Frozen Lance, especially that early. I already knew about it, but I am pissed. God, I'm pissed because you gotta see how, how, how difficult it is for Hubert to get it. I guess Flying Effect Null. I, I don't know if, he, uh, if people automatically get Flying Effect Null, though. I don't know how common that is. He doesn't seem to have anything else too extravagant. He seems just kind of normal. Honestly, honestly, his best move is Frozen Lance. Like, I mean, once I, you guys saw how powerful Frozen Lance was when I was using it with Hubert. Anything else I feel like is just unneeded. Um, heal or stuff for Atu. I guess I can make him a bishop. Let me see. Um, yeah, no one is really a, a white mage on this team. Like, regular mage, she's technically supposed to be like a dark mage. Yeah, no one's a white mage. Hmm. I might wind up making Lawrence a mage, but I'll probably still put Frozen Lance on him. Just so he'll have that physical attack that destroys everybody. But then switch him up to being a, at the very least, a white mage or maybe a dark mage with um, white mage abilities. One, one of the two. It feels like it, because I don't have that much healing, mage healing on this team. Alright, so Raphael... Raphael is the one unit that scares me because it looks he reminds me of a Snorlax. Like it just eat me. Okay, not much for magic. But what she what you got? Goody basket. What you got? Um okay, let me go. Personal skill of who? Somebody from Fates. Gives the user a chance to restore a little bit of this isn't this, you literally have leftovers! He literally has leftovers. He is literally a Snorlax. And that's why he's so damn scary. <laughs> he is literally a Snorlax. Thought I heard something, but anyway. Smash wild abandon. Okay, uh, that's a. I'm not say common move, but that is a move that I've seen. Then my certain unit says high risk, high reward. Well, saying my attack, a high might critical rate, but reduces the hit rate. Um, plus counterfeiting blow, monster crusher, healing force, draining blow. Um, he gets 
magic boosts or black magic boosts. Wait, 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 wait. Rally strength. Well, okay. I mean, it's obvious what rally strength does. Come on, Kizu. That's the other thing. So I haven't been checking rallies. Oh my God! Please tell me you have a rally. You don't actually have a rally. I th I literally thought every unit had a rally. Or was I mistaken with Black Eagles? Because I thought in Black Eagles every unit had a rally. But you're telling me that Lorenz over here does not have a rally. So he can't boost anyone's stats. Or am, or am I just not looking at this right? Hold on, there's a better way to do this. That's the, that is the only rally in the whole page. He does not have a rally. You are really becoming so close to being a, what, the, the most hated character, Lorenz. Claude, Cla you have to have a rally. Yeah, you, okay, rally charm, of course, rally charm. But at least it's something. Wait, yeah, rally, wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. He has rally movement? Bruh! <laughs> like, I was gonna say, like, I think Rally Defense might be the best one, and I'm pretty sure that was Zetith that had it, for what I was looking at. But I was like, Rally Movement? Bruh! Yeah, he had rally strength, makes sense. But I think everything else is just kind of meh for him. It was like his best um, class is definitely Brawler. I mean, he gets the most moves from Brawler, I think. Yeah. He only gets four axe moves. Literally a Snorlax. Ew. Oh, but I'm gonna have to do something about his res resilience, though, because I remember in one of those paralogs where I was using Raphael, he had negative two resilience or resistance. And I'm like, that is no any magic user could just walk up and kill him. So we're gonna have to do something about that. Okay, Ignatz, the guy with the most unfortunate name. I think his parents is just, he finally came out of the womb and he was like a little ignat, a little, little ignorant. Like, they said the word ignorant, but they said it so fast, so it was like ignat. Uh, at least he gets physic. That's good. Maybe I can make him, well, come on. Where are my archers at? Because like, I ain't making Claude no archer. All right, let's look at abilities. Watchful Eye. Is he... Decidueye? As the name suggests, they increase the unit's hit rate. Okay, so he's definitely... Hey, yeah, I feel like that he is best as an archer. Um, currently, there are two levels, of the, two levels of the skill. A former enemy exclusive. Letter is available. For you as well, the skill is introduced in Awakening. Uh, previously given hit rate bonuses. Ooh, Swordmaster class. Lunatic mode. I never heard of lunatic mode. Boosts the hit rate, so definitely more of a archer sniper. 
mean, we could use it for magic. Actually, that'd be interesting. Using it as for an X user, because it makes the X's um, hit a little easier. I think hey slice was that one. No, I'm thinking wind slice. I think. Okay, it allows them to uh, an easier chance to evade the next attack. Okay. Friend, break shot, ward, arrow, and weapon skills. They have to use it with silver bow. Allows the user to use. Oh. I'm making him an archer. If that's what it does, I'm making him an archer. Hanneman, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Hanneman got it. But it's just like, this guy doesn't really have much magic, though. But it looks like he can double in magic, though. He's definitely going to be an archer. If, if he gets one... <laughs> he gets that move. Seal strength? Budding talent? This is the Ignatz with his budding talent and reason skill. It drops enemy strength by a considerable amount and in the beach battle. Now so it recovers instantly on the following turn. So basically if I hit somebody, it seals their strength. And with it and with his uh, natural ability, it's almost guaranteed he's gonna be able to get that hit off. Rally speed though, rally dexterity though. Rally strength though. Bruh, Ignatz might be the best unit on the team. <laughs> Ignatz might carry the whole team. Especially if I make him a healer. I mean not I mean I'm not saying making him like a magic user, but make oh, wait, no, I have to make him a magic user because uh Sniper wouldn't be able to use magic unless if there's a special unit that I can make. I can make Ignis the dancer. I think if you make Ignatz the dancer, your team is broken. Because he's still going to get all the moves and stuff, right? He doesn't need to actually be a sniper class to get these abilities, right? I should move my microphone, like, right here. He's yeah, debuff-oriented. Okay, yeah, I, I, I get you. I don't think he needs to be a sniper class for him to gain these abilities because these are all just uh, based based on the skill of the weapon for the for the unit himself. I think he needs to be the dancer. Oh wow, my render just completed. Which is part eight. Part eight of Mario Tennis just finished rendering on my other computer. If granted, it's slower. It took. How long did it take? <laughs> I was going to say 15 hours, but it says 14 hours, 59 minutes. 
like 20 something seconds practically 15 hours so anyway I, I, I think Ignatz needs to be my dancer cause he'll have access to well not say access but he'd still be able to use bows and arrows without being hindered that much by being the dancer I feel like if you're a magic class I think that hinders Actually, doesn't the other what did the, I think the other web page gave me those stats? Let me see. Um Hmm. Interesting that there's no link here. Um, this one gave me those stats, right? As an enemy. Okay. Let's say maximum stats. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait, would Saint... Oh, with all state essentials, okay. Here's the stats. Okay, strength is like 35%. Dexterity speed. Okay. So if he was... Sniper. The dexterity pretty much goes up to the highest. Well, on here. Strength is 40%. This is Dancer on here. Oh, so up here at the top. Okay, strength goes down to 30. Dexterity goes down to 50. But it might, but the special ability might, his personal special ability might um, offset it to where it would be more advantageous. And granted, his strength goes down. But he'll still be able to use magic. As the dancer, still be able to use bows and arrows. It's just that with the sniper, it gets slightly stronger. You'll have more HP as a dancer, though. And let me check. There's magic. I saw some magic changing. Because obviously it can't be used. Oh wait, no, it wasn't magic. It was dexterity. Huh. What about speed? Speed still 50% as luck increases. Defense. Defense is lower as a dancer. Resilience should go up as a dancer. No, his resilience is higher as a sniper. Hmm. I still consider him making him a dancer because I feel like that he'd be more advantageous. You see, he gets physic and ward and all this stuff, and then on top of that, his has he'll have the um, debuff attacks. As a bow user, as a dancer, bow using dancer. His range won't increase. Wait, wait, wait. Some of that stuff carries over. Right? Some of that stuff carries over. Another sniper will have like plus two range on top of plus one range and all that stuff. But I think one of them might carry over. But even so, I think he can just like use a long bow and call it a day. Especially with his um, aim increase. Dexterity increase naturally. Go from his natural ability. I think that's worth it. I want to say is, is I think it's worth making him the um, the dancer. 
Okay, Lysithia. I'm her, I, if I'm not mistaken, her natural ability is two plus or two times experience. But she pretty much gets all the dark. Uh, all the dark magic. Um, Soul Blade. This is something that I don't know. And learned only by Lysithia, Marianne, and Anna. Hmm, interesting. The former by having to realize her budding talent. Okay, and the latter simply by raising their skills. Soul Blade's chosen sword and magic user, magic weapon, allowing the weapon to deal damage based on the target's resistance instead of the defense. Okay, so you know, uh, Psy Shock, in a way. Well, not not really Psy Shock, but well, I guess it's a reverse Psy Shock. What would be it? I guess it would be like a punch that bit that attacks your special stat for Pokemon. There might be a thing that does that, but I don't. if there is, I don't know about it. Uh, let's see. Nothing too extravagant here. Does she not have a rally? I don't think she has a rally either. Hmm. Did Ignatz? Yeah, did Ignatz had like three rallies. <laughs> and I know, like, he had rallies for his other people <laughs> that didn't have rallies. Uh, that's interesting. Um. So yeah, I guess Black Mage for Lysithia it doesn't seem like there's any reason to um, divert from that. My problem with Lysithia was that she was fairly weak defensive-wise, but that may just be because I got her late in the game. That may just be because I got it late in the game. I don't think I need to do anything else with Lysithia. Marianne. I feel like that she could be a mounted unit. I think that's what they were hinting on with her character. Loving horses and all that. Blizzard, Thoron, Cutting Gale. I can never know how to pronounce that move. She gets physics, silence, and aura. Interesting. Wait, did she comes with these? She come with heal and Nosferatu? Animal friend. Um, personal ability of Mariana restores the unit's HP if they are close to a cavalier unit or flying ally unit. That will be interesting because I don't have <laughs> I currently don't have another flying or cavalry unit and I'm not making Claude a damn Wyvern Rider. He's going to have to learn to walk at his own feet and deal with it. <sighs> oh, she gets frozen. No, they, I think I, did I see that? I don't think I saw that. She gets frozen lance as well. It's her budding talent. Well, okay. At least it's a budding talent, not just something you just come with. Pause. Let's see. Battalion Renewal. I'm trying to remember what this is. It's an ability certain units raise their skill level and authority. Name suggests it's similar to Renewal in that it restores the user's HP at the start of each of their turns. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, she gets cavalry effect null. She gets armored effect. Wait, did anybody else get these? Flying effect null cavalry. Okay, okay, this is a standard. Okay, this must be standard. Like if Lysithia can get these. No, no. Okay, okay. This is not a unique thing. Okay. 
So I feel like that Marianne. Well, it's like I, I, I want to say Baker a mounted unit if her effect goes off if she were the mounted unit, but I don't think the skill works that way. I don't think the ability works that way. So what I'm thinking is. I don't know, actually. She does look like she'd make a good magic user, but nothing too extravagant. I mean, the, right here, just makes it like, well, she'd be best as a bishop. Which I guess I should consider because I don't really have any healing units here. In some ways, I also kind of feel like that sh maybe she should be the dancer. I feel like she's the obvious dancer, too. But she should definitely learn Frozen Lance. It's a budding talent, so that means I have to work on... Yeah. Hmm. She should, def she should definitely get. I feel like any magic user that can get Frozen Lance should get Frozen Lance. Even for Lorenz's case, because honestly, I feel like that's the only way he's going to be good. But, uh, Marianne. She feel like she would be better as the dancer, but I want to take full advantage of Ignaz throwing out arrows and magic. I mean, you can technically still do that as a magic user, but... As a matter of fact, let me look at this again. Bishop, Bishop strength. What about compared to dancer? Strength actually goes down. Genius goes up, luck goes up. Magic, dexterity. I guess I could make him a bishop. If that strength goes up, it'll definitely help. Bow knight. No, we don't want him a bow knight. It'll, it'll, it'll wind up being a holy knight. Right? Strength still doesn't go up. Man, I am torn between Dancer and Bishop for Ignatz. Marianne seems like she'd be good as the other Dancer. I'm just, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of torn about that. Hilda, somebody who I really was kind of getting really interested in using. Seems like a unique, fun character. Bolt, she gets bolting. Interesting. How many times does bolting can be used? Because I used to be five, if I'm not mistaken. Range might use it, so it's only two in this game. Five, five, five. It's five every other game except three houses. Well, except for this game, but I don't really know what this game is. I feel like that's Fire Emblem 4 or something like that. 
Oh well, anyway, let's see. So bolting only has two uses in this game. So that's not worth it. Defiant defense? Sorry, I just gotta look at that real quick. I don't know if it's even one of her abilities, but I just wanna look at that right now. Individual tiers of skills, lowest defense, and lowest uh, unit with defense per skill gain a boost in their defense stat at the start of the player's turn should the player's HP be less than half of their total. The size of the defense boost increases with the skills tier. Interesting. Advocate, um... I think she boosts the power of males next to her, if I'm not mistaken. I'm looking away, but I think that's what she does. Boost the power of output by nearby male. I like, yeah, okay. Because I was thinking, if I had her and Sylvain next to each other, then they both would uh, benefit each other. Which is another reason to make by the female, because then Sylvain would just join automatically. Um, Shatter Slash. That, I don't know. It is learned a certain units by raising their skill level and lances. This attack boosts the might and hit rate, also reducing the target's defense if they are hit. Interesting, Hilda. Am I gonna make you a lance user? Okay, so she has this spike. I don't think I know. Certain units that are in these hits. This attack boosts the hit rate, hit rate and critical rate. So this is just a straight up good ass powerful axe attack. I know this video is getting she has seals. Oh God! I was just about to say I know this this video is getting kind of long, but I didn't expect to be this invested in what I was seeing. And then I see seal speed, which is probably the most broken seal out of all of them. Hold on. Oh, gee. Uh, ow, ow. Basically, my foot's falling asleep. And I don't think my current sitting position is going to help. Well, actually, it feels like it's actually is helping, but seal speed. Oh, it's for heavy night, right? Right, it's for heavy night. So I have to make her a heavy night right off the bat. I have to make her heavy night off the bat. I didn't know she got seal speed. This is why I'm on this website. I should be taking notes. I, mean, I guess I could take notes later when I go back and watch the video. Make her, make Hilda heavy armor. Right off the bat, right off the jump. Because she gets seal, seal speed. Hit somebody, lower their speed. P good, probable chance to actually steal stuff from the, uh, the Death Knight by lowering his speed. Of course, I don't have a high speed character to follow up, but... I'd rather lower speed because uh, it would lower their avoidance. And Leone, the cheapest of them all. Reasonably cheap, but still cheap. Because she knows what it's like to be broke. But I kind of like Leone. But I'm like Physic, Ragnarok, Heal. Okay, good stuff on magic. 
Robo Reach, um, she gets powered up when she's next to a male unit. I do remember that. Monster Piercer, Lance Jab, I don't think I remember. So much else. This attack grants increased might based on the user speed. And I don't think Leon is all that fast. It's just that's a very interesting move. It's kind of it was a Electro Ball from Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's a move that is based on how much higher the speed stat is against the target. I mean, I guess another move would be Gyro Ball, but it's uh, the slower it, the slower the user, the more powerful it is. Lens jab is interesting, but wait, I just got done saying I don't have a speed character or like a, like a speedy character. What if I made Leone the speedy character, but she doesn't get, she doesn't get those other moves. I don't, I'm looking at, um, rat strike at grounder. If she gets those other sword moves, I'll definitely consider it. But right now it doesn't really look that way. Point blank volley. Usually a bow attack, it cannot it can only ever attack adjacent foes. In exchange, it grants a boost in might hit rate and avoid while also turning their weapon into a brave weapon. Does anybody else get this? Only Cyril. Fucking cabin boy gets it. But that's good, though. And this is... Yeah, this is an ability, so I can use this with any bow. It's kind of like, um... Well, that, well, that's not a brave weapon. I mean, I mean... It, um, Swift Strikes on Ferdinand wasn't a brave weapon. You just use both attacks first it's not it doesn't turn into a brave weapon it just uses both your first attack and your follow-up attack first this one turns it into a brave weapon which means if if I had the four plus speed I'm hitting four times Which means I need to make her speedy. I need to make Leone speedy. <laughs> I'm just like, you guys can't see my face, but I'm just over here just kind of flabbergasted. I need to make Leone speedy. But how do I even do that? But those are technically her only advantageous moves being uh, the Lance Jab and Point Blank Volley, but they're both based on speed. But they would be really advantageous being that I can use varying lances and bows. So, she needs to be a unit that's speedy. Or Lance Jab, oh wait, Lance Jab has to be at A. Lance Jab has to be at A. This has to be at A. I think I need to make Leonie an assassin. I don't know how that's going to work for her in lances, but I think she needs to be an assassin. Let me come over here. Uh, Leone. I think she needs to be an assassin. What would she normally be? 
I feel like a Cavalier unit. What's after Cavalier? Paladin. Speed is what I'm looking at. If I made you an assassin, 80. What about Swordmaster? Still 80, okay. So either one. Okay, I'm, I'm banking on Assassin. Mostly because I'll be able to steal stuff and all that stuff, and I don't have an Assassin yet. I know Ignaz has the best chance to become an Assassin, but I want him using magic. That's a Megalionian Assassin. She can still use lances while she's an assassin. She can be a lance using assassin. Huh. That would be interesting. Lance using assassin. I'm thinking I'm thinking assassin. I think I got my classes. I think that's it. Assassin, heavy armor. Uh, Marianne, you're still kind of up in the air. Asithia, dark mage. Dancer or bishop? I'm thinking dancer. I mean, like, one of you, one of either Ignatz or Marianne's going to be the dancer. Um, I think brawler. Actually, you know what? I can't even remember what the fuck I was going to make you, Lawrence. I'll go back on the video, but I can't even remember. Claude, uh, just because I hate you, you're going to be a uh, heavy armor or something. Something where you have to actually defend people. Now, there are characters that I could bring on, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. Especially because this video is getting longer than what I intended. Uh, but anyway... What I also wanted to get at was, I want to. Is there is there, is there like a image of Leone as an assassin class that I can see? Oh, I was like, I want, I just want to see Leone in an assassin class. I let that be my. I could use the keyboard, but I just have all this stuff in the way on my keyboard. There's no assassin class in here. <laughs> like Cyrus, that Cyrus is an assassin, you little cabin boy punk. Cabin boy bitch. There's no assassin class, Leone. Okay. I see more reason to make her assassin class, but okay. Um, I wish I can say that this will be that that I will start this let's play next week, but I can't. And the reason why is because for these past, it's past it's technically been eight weeks. The six weeks were for the Pokemon videos that I was uploading. But the, the extra one was for the Dragon Ball Fighters. And it will be this video right here that I'm going to post tomorrow. Which will be um, the 11th of June. But... Throughout the, the this break that I was supposed to have... And, I'm, and, I, and I choose my words wisely supposed to have because this was supposed to be like a break for me to be able to get stuff done that I needed to get done unfortunately was not able to get any of it done not 
through like a trying. But just because best way I can put it, that's life. The problem is that if I don't focus on getting these done, doing this let's play is going to be much harder. The worst part about it is that I had, I wanted to start not only uploading Fire Emblem Three Houses, but as I just mentioned before, um, Mario Tennis, the render over there just finished. Um, I would have been on, well, I guess the completed videos are finished. I still haven't completed the other ones, which would be part nine through, I think, 13 or 12. That's mostly because I, there's an animation that I want to do for it. But, um... That, um, Mario plus Rabbids. I have Luigi's Mansion 3, which I was been intending on doing. Even for the... Uh, before the other Fire Emblem Let's Play. I wanted to do Luigi's Mansion 3. I have it. I want to get started on that. And Hyrule War, well, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, I have access to it. <laughs> um, I want to do that. And Hyrule, I mean, and, well, and uh, Breath of the Wild. I guess I can't really say that, like, I'm done done, but I definitely have enough videos done where I can start uploading, like, weekly. And I, I, I plan on starting all of this but since I haven't completed what I wanted to complete any of it it's like I seriously it's, it's like it's not a, it's not like I didn't try it's like Nothing went my way. Despite how hard I was trying. And granted, I am... Let's just say that if I don't deal with these issues, I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to go crazy. Mostly because of how much effort I put into trying to get these things done. And because... Things didn't work out the way that I say they should have. I feel that if I I have to put 100%, and it's funny because I felt like that I was putting 100%, but I guess over 100% of my time in trying to get these problems fixed. If I don't get them fixed, me personally... I feel like my living situation is going to start to become unbearable. Best way I can put it. Unbearable. So, um, granted this is what happened. This is the conclusion I came up with today. Because prior to today, I was still planning on doing all this. I was still planning on uploading Fire Emblem next week and... All the other videos, subsequent videos, the following week, each day, boom, 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 boom. But today is just, you come to the realization that, it's mostly because yesterday I thought what I had done would fix everything, or maybe at very least start to tone things down, but today it's like, no, no, didn't work. Not surprising that it didn't work. But still pisses me off that it didn't work. So. I need. I need. To get these problems fixed. Which means. 
exactly what I didn't want to do in the first place, which was not upload. But if I don't handle this, then there probably won't be many uploads anyway. So I need to handle this, which should have been handled in the last six weeks. Dash eight weeks, but I I tried. I just did not have any control. So, as much as I hate to say this, don't expect any uploads. I mean, if things turn out the way that they should have by tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, and so on, if things start to calm down, maybe I'll actually have some uploads ready by next week maybe the thing is i cannot say 100 percent certain that things will calm down i cannot say that i cannot promise you that i have a very low expectation of that actually panning out that way mostly because of how things have been turning out for the past six to eight weeks so eric do I hope? Yes. Do I expect it? No. So, as much as I hate to do this, and I hate to do this, but don't expect any uploads from me for a while. How long? I don't know. I want to say things should be back up and running by September, and I'm only saying that just because that's when kids go back to school. Which would be good for me. Less chaos. Um, that would be ideal. Might have to take longer. Worst part about it is that my aunt might... I am getting so close to actually doing my animations because like I said with the Dragon Ball Z, the, the, the Dragon Ball Fighters video, because I, I was working on trying to figure out a way and how to actually add in the backlighting. I figured out how to do that. And if I did the opening, if I did the opening to this video with the opening that I wanted to do, the one I was planning on doing, then you guys might see what I mean by adding in backlighting now granted it's not really a what I show is not really like a backlight backlight but it can be changed to look more like a backlighting that's what I mean to say it, I was saying it the technique works so I can start doing my animations so, so long as I get the model and all this other stuff uh, ready to go I could start doing that, but I would rather not have all these problems hovering over my head while I'm trying to do these animations. That would just be stressful for me. I would rather have 100% focus on my animations rather than having to deal with all these other problems while having to do these animations. Especially because that in turn might affect the quality of the animation itself because I'd be stressed out. I definitely don't want to do that. Even so, as I speak, because this animation that I did now, it only took me like a few days to do it. I feel like I started it on it on Monday or something like that. Yeah, I think I started it on Monday. I actually managed to finish it. Either, either Sunday or Monday. You know, I'm kind of surprised that I did. But I just kind of felt like I should be able to finish it by then. And I did. With plenty of time to spare. It's just... I don't feel like it came out looking the best. But given the time crunch that I gave myself. Because I wanted to start the Fire Emblem Let's Play today. Which would be the 11th to you guys. But, you know, things happen. So, I was going to delay it one more week with this video. 
but then today something happened which just okay i'm just, i'm you know what i'm just i'm just i'm i'm going to just focus on this so anyway yeah my animations but I, I i feel like i can actually do them i feel like i'm ready to do them like you'll start seeing my original animation i mean i could i could still do spirit stars but i want to i want to first deal with a couple of issues being copyright well actually no that is the issue copyright <laughs> no 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 that's pretty much the issue copyright because spirit stars not the spirit stars themselves but what I plan to do with them would invoke copyright infringement if I decide to go that route, which honestly, that's kind of the purpose of the spirit stars. But before I just dive in, I'm gonna need to do some need to do something else to just kind of see where I can step. So that's the purpose of this new cartoon which is useless Q slash letter waifu. Which is coming out pretty nice. I, I, I actually enjoy it. I think I'm going to enjoy making this series. But it'll be on my Q2 Animations channel. Oh, before I even forget. I do plan on like making updates to either my Facebook, my Twitter, or my Patreon. If you're not subscribed to my Patreon, please subscribe to my Patreon because I feel like that I would most likely update my situations there or post updates of my situations there, especially my animations. Because um, I, I, I know in school I was not taught, but I was say told that I should update I should update my progress frequently, but it's just that once I'm on a roll, I don't really want to stop. So that's why I don't really upload my progress. But if I am going to upload my progress, it'll most likely be on my Patreon. Also, I feel like that whatever I upload to my Patreon, since I make it available to other people, you can just download it from there. That is if I make the assets and stuff available. <laughs> Sorry, just that I started thinking because two days ago was my birthday. I wasn't really expecting much, but I sure as I wasn't expecting just straight up crap. So yeah, I'm upset about that too, but it just uh, carried over to today and I'm just still pissed about it. But anyway, I guess I should end it now. I don't think there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else for me to mention. I mean, I know I need to work on the website, but Honestly, I think I need to revamp the entire website. Number one, make it simpler. Uh, I need to fo focus on the Patreon. Um, I do want to um, update my Twitter. Be more active on Twitter, what I mean. More active on Twitter, active on Facebook. More active on Patreon. Maybe I'll start doing that if things don't work out the way I want them to. I really, really wish these problems would die down a little bit. But I'm going to have to focus on these because they're going to bother me. Sorry I keep mentioning it, but it's just... Ugh. That's the best way I can put it. So... Yeah, um, I guess that's it. Um, if I decide to, uh, to, to 
I guess I do want some feedback for the animation. That if if I uploaded the animation with this video, I guess I wouldn't mind a little feedback. I know it's a little pixelated. I can't help that. Not necessarily because I can't really go. I can't really go in and fix it because I could. It's just like I said. You know, I needed a few days. I, I only took a few days to do it. But um, limitations of the model that was available. That's all I can say. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could go time and I could go in and fix up the pixelation, the pixelated stuff, and some of the slow and the timing and stuff like that. Plus, I think the watch is too big, but. At the same time, I'm like, well, I feel like if I made it the actual size, then it'll be too, a little too hard to see. And the whole point of it is to actually be able to see the watch. So that's why it's so big. But other than that, um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video, which I have no idea when that will be. Hopefully next week but not guaranteed so hey guys for watching i will see you guys in the next video whenever that will be but until then as i always say take care of yourselves and have a very good night peace